<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Luna Light OTK, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor, The Chod Father, who requested that I play Luna Lights and specifically asked me not to play anything that might be banned in the next six months or so. So that means no danger engine, no as-a-thought combos, and just to be safe, I'm keeping out the Phantom Knights as well, just in case Rusty Bardish gets hit. Uh, which is perfectly fine, pure Luna Lights, surprisingly effective, maybe not the most competitive, but it can still OTK fairly consistently, and can even play through some hand traps and some other disruption. Now, if you just want the deck profile for this thing, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. There, I'll just go over everything in here, explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alright, here we are, first duel versus Key253. Uh, and we want to go second with this deck. Always go second. It's a, it's an OTK deck. That's just what it does. And, um, ooh wee, we've got like a, not an unplayable hand, not even like a terrible hand, but this is essentially like a garnet in the deck. This is only good in the graveyard. We play it at one just because, um, uh, we have a uh, foolish burial goods that we could send it to the graveyard and then get some plays off. You really don't want to see this in your hand. And likewise, we only play the one of Luna Light Fusion. Which, honestly, I'm considering taking out. The only reason it's in here is because, I believe, is it Emerald Bird or it might be Martin? One of them has the ability to search a Luna Light spell trap. Yeah, I think it's Martin. Martin has the ability to search a Luna Light spell trap. And this is Luna Space Light. So it doesn't count. It only counts the, the if it's one word, like Luna Light. So... I figured, you know, we're going to get some free advantage. I like to discard things. We might as well put this in here just because we could search it. It's been useful from time to time. Um, but again, it's not something... It doesn't really extend or start your combos in any way. <coughs> Honestly, it's more of a backup. You probably noticed looking at the uh, initial... Oof, that's no good for him. That's very no good for him. Um... Uh, let's see, you can send one Luna Light card. Okay, so this works. We're playing Emerald Bird. Emerald Bird is great. Just when it's normal or special summoned, you can discard a Luna Light, draw a card. And it's any Luna Light, which means we can get the Serenade Dance out of our hand, get our combos started, and get a card in the in the meanwhile. This is just great, yeah. It it, it um which it baits out this kind of stuff. Um Hmm. What to do now, though? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Tenki. Add a Beast Warrior. And... We're gonna go for a Martin. Martin has a pretty unique effect. What Martin can do is... If, uh, return one Lunalite on the field to the hand... Really useful with the pendulums. Special summon it. But if you do, then it can't, it, then it's banished. But if you use it for Ixie material, then you're fine. You're perfectly alright. So what we're going to do is use it for Ixie material. He has a face down. Normally we'd go for Tiger King. It would search Tenki, but you can only activate one Tenki per turn. And he has that face down, so we're just going to go for dang old Tornado Dragon. Be like, yo, what's up? I don't want your face down card to exist anymore. So we're going to detach Emerald Bird. Why not? Destroy that. Normally you'd want to detach Martin if it had its effect, but it doesn't, so... Asshole! <laughs> Cutting off my plays. That's fine. We've got Luna Light Perfume. We're going to summon this out of the grave. This is just Monster Reborn. More importantly, though, if it's in the graveyard, you can discard a card and then add any, search any Luna Light from your deck. And we're going to search 
I'm going to search tiger. We're going to get a dang old tiger going on. And then, now that this is in the graveyard, we're going to discard our Luna Light Fusion, because who needs it? For Kaleido Chick, most important card. Kaleido Chick can send any Luna Light from the deck or extra deck to the graveyard and take its name. We don't really care about taking its name, we just want it to send it so that it, uh, so that we have a, um, Panther Dancer in the graveyard. And then what we're going to do, um, hmm, 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 not the best options, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, we're fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to get these two, hello, nice to see you, we're going to activate Tiger, Tiger in the Pendulum Zone, and just once per turn, summon a Lunalite. And Kaleido Chick, not once per turn, so we're going to send one of these to the graveyard, just so we have one there for next turn. Its effect's negated, but sending is a cost. And then we're just going to make dang old Borolo Dragon. Hey, how's it going? And then finally, Wolf. Wolf is important in the Pendulum Zone. It's our fusion. It fuses by banishing monsters from the graveyard. So we have the Panther Dancer, we have this... And this. Whatever. Bada bingo, bada bingo. And when Kaleido Chick is banished, it says your opponent can't activate stuff during the battle phase. So, this can make two attacks. And Boral Load can attack. So there you go. OTK. He didn't have much of a board, but, you know, we played through a hand trap. We played through a fog blade. We opened with a useless Lunalite fusion that was pretty much just a dead card. We opened with our Garnet, and we still managed to do this with the power of Lunalites. But yeah, that, that's, well, I'll explain it as we go on. You, you just saw it, but I'll, I'll explain it anyway. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> All right, here we are, second duel, and I want to take this moment to give a little hard leg shout out to Chris W., Patreon uh, sponsor from Hong Kong. Nice guy. Sends me OCG cards every month. Have you ever seen the unboxings? I get to open Japanese cards. Thanks to him. And give a thanks to him down in the shout-out. It's due to... Or down in the comments. It's it's thanks to people like him that this channel is funded and continues to grow. Uh, but yeah, as I was going to say before, that that's the Luna Light playstyle now. Like, you don't play polymerization. The Luna Light fusion is barely active. What you do is you use the Luna Lights to make links... Just like as many things as you can, usually like a Skull Dread or a Borolo Dragon, and then you dig your way to Wolf, and Wolf fuses out of the graveyard. So you're just, the only reason you put stuff on the field is just to make something, and then you'll have materials in the graveyard for Wolf. That is our entire game plan. And everything else, the, I mean, the Lunar Lights have a lot of different effects. They're not all just material, which I really like. Like, Blue Cat, if it's special summoned, you can double the attack of a Luna Light. Doesn't happen very often, but the fact that you can do it can sometimes be the difference between life and death. Unfortunately, we've got some kind of trap tricks, which is gonna be not so good. Hey, we've got Emerald Bird. Again, a lot of people slept on this, a lot of people didn't really see the usefulness in this, but it's just so good as, like, a way to, like, bait out stuff and get your plays started. Especially because you want Martin in the graveyard. So we can just, like, go through your deck, get this. If he trap holes this... Okay, then I'm good. And then, yeah, when Yellow Martin is sent to the graveyard, we get our Luna Light Fusion. <laughs> and... The only thing we're missing, really, is... Well, actually, let me think about this. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to try this. Activate. I'm going to put it over here just in case this is like infinite impermanence or something. Be negate in my field. I am not to be wanting that. Okay, and then we're going to... Now the question is, did he set... No, I don't know what he set. It, the thing is, 
If he's got trap tricks, uh, if he's got floodgate trap hole, then I could be in for a spot of bother. Because I don't want face down stuff in the extra monster zone. So we're actually going to go for this. We're going to go for the fighting, firefighting Daruma doll. This will let us destroy spell traps. And it's not, it's not weak to that. We got two Pot of Desires. We can only activate one. I don't really want to activate more than one. Um, so yeah, we're going to target this and target that. Chain hole. Interesting. That's a new thing. So yeah, then you get to this, this, uh, what do I have in the graveyard? Those two again? Okay. So yeah, interesting thing you can do is like, Yellow Martin, return a Lunalite to the hand. Summon. Then activate Tiger again, because it's not once per turn. Or it's once per turn, but it's not a hard once per turn, which means if you play it again, then you're, you're open. Um... Well, see, I could go for this, just get rid of his spell traps. Or I could go for this, search Kaleido Chick, and then I would have everything I need to OTK. But if that's like a floodgate trap hole that he activates, I'm going to play it a little safe. You've already seen the OTK. Let's show some of like the toolboxy elements of this. Yep, the floodgate trap hole. I should have known. Um, just to be, just to get this in the graveyard because you want stuff in the graveyard. I know it's not going to negate it, but I just want that material before it goes face down. And then I believe he gets to he gets to get this. Target one whole trap card, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Okay, but he can't activate it this turn, right? Because it was set this turn. I believe that's how this works. If I'm mistaken, if I don't understand the basics of how traps work, I'm going to be sad. Um, Just going to make... Okay. So then, the only thing I'm worried about is if we banish Kaleido Chick. I don't want to banish Kaleido Chick, so let's hope that we can not banish all our Kaleido Chicks. There's one. Okay. We lost two of our Luna Light perfume, but that's not that bad. We're going to send the third one to the graveyard. Or I could just send this to the graveyard. Yeah, that would be even better. Send that to the graveyard. We already have a tiger. So I'm going to discard the tiger. Summon Kaleido Chick. Kaleido Chick is going to send Panther Dancer. Because we need that in the graveyard to make the Leo Dancer. Activate. Fusion Summon. This, this, and this. Because, yeah, Yellow Martin we can use again next turn. If there is a next turn. And then, Pendulum Summon. And because this was Pendulum Summoned, we could double a Luna Light's attack. 7,000. Then blow up the field. Yeah, this thing, after it attacks, it blows up the field, and then it could attack again. So even if he had significantly bigger monsters, you're going to be able to OTK through that. So we get us another win. A good showing. I, I'm happy. I mean, obviously, I don't want to lose the next eight duels. That would be embarrassing. But even if we did, at least I showed off what this deck is supposed to do so that you know. Uh, let's go ahead into the third duel. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Third duel against my arch nemesis player. And I want to give another shout out. Normally, I only do these on the even numbered duels, but. I have too many shout-outs to give this month, so I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be throwing a little in here. Just a shout-out to Brian Bruns, good old Dustleg, long-time supporter, short-time fan. I, I don't know. Um, we're going first, which is not good. 
And it looks like, unless we want to just pass, we're going to have to blind desires. Not the best. Hopefully we didn't banish all our Kaleido chicks or all our tigers. Okay, yeah, that's actually... We're pretty good, we're pretty good. Um, so we can do our thing. And there's actually, I was testing this yesterday, and someone pointed out that there's like a really good card you can use for this going first, other than the, the Azathoth combo, which people use. And uh, I completely, I, I just like, um, what is, oh yeah. Um, let's go for it. Yeah, there's a Easel Evil Swarm Nightmare. Really, really good in this deck, especially going first. And I did not consider it. And that's probably just, just, I and mean, it's not fine, but it, I didn't want to run it. I'm just going to summon this because it's, it's just material. No, we're not going to increase the attack. Um, then we're going to Pendulum Shokan. Yeah, it's a really good card first turn, but I didn't want to change the deck at the last moment because I don't I don't know much about Evil Swarm Nightmare. I haven't had time to test it. But if you're playing this yourself, you definitely want to to look at that. Um yeah, let's go ahead and dump Leo Dancer so it's there. We're going to summon out Martin. Hey, how's it going? Do we want to get free cards? I think we want to get free cards. Or we could just get Boral Load. That's probably a good first turn play. Nah, even if I... Yeah, let's go for this. Four monsters, different names. That'll help. Okay. Uh, return to the deck. It's Martin and Butterfly and Kaleido Chick. That way we could discard that, we have a little bit of stuff. Then we're going to return this. Hey, how's it going? We're going to activate again. We're going to... doesn't really matter which one we do. Its effects negated anyway, and it's destroyed during the end phase, but we got it. And this is our, this is our go first card. Plan B, with with slight protection. And what do I have left in here? Okay, that's actually not that good. I was going to make Sa Saber Dancer anyway. Yeah, I don't really want to make this while I've got Bagoo Scout, because it'll go into defense. So we're just going to set this. Hopefully this will be enough to stall him. If he doesn't destroy this, then next turn we just make Leo Dancer and kill him. And then, even if he does destroy this, as long as he doesn't put up Negation, then I could play Wolf, the, my second Wolf, and play Leo Dancer and kill him. It's a very linear deck. It's kind of on the edge of, like, what I would consider great. Twin Twisters! Ah, um... Yeah, we're detaching that for sure. So, it looks like crawlers. Do I have anything for crawlers? Yes, I do. I do indeed, I do indeed. Let's get this. Let's send something to the graveyard that I can use. Doesn't matter, it's just a Luna Light name. We're going to return this. And then we're going to make... Good old Lightning, because it stops your opponent from activating things. Oh wait, I, could, I would just have Kaleido Chick anyway, so we're good. And he surrendered, as he probably should. Actually, did I, did I attach Kaleido Chick to this? There's no way to check at the moment, I forget. But either way, I'm making Leo Dancer. This attacks into this, no effect. Double attack for 35, plus these. We're just an OTK machine! It's what we do. It's how the deck works. Let's go into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, fourth duel. This time brought to you by Slamuel, 
who slams down on that Patreon follow button. And we're going up against Takis Fuego. It's some kind of Spanish. I forget if Fuego is like a bad word. I think it might be a bad word. Actually, while he's doing synchro shenanigans, let me... Let me see what that means. Spanish for fire. Oh, okay. He's something fire, and he's playing Starlight Junction and Spe- Okay. Well, you about to have a bad time, most likely, unless you got some kind of hand trap. Let's just add this, and we've, we've, we've just got everything. We've got the nuts. Um, we're going to... Yep, activate that. Activate that. We're going to special summon just one Martin, just in case this is like bottomless or something. I don't want to. I don't want to worry about that. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this looks like an. E this is unfortunately the one kind of bad thing about this deck. Is it's just like it. It's really combo heavy, and it's almost so powerful. It's almost too powerful for like YGO Pro. Like, I feel bad a lot of times of fighting against decks, decks like this that, uh, are not the greatest. Let's just try to end this quickly, then. All we need to OTK against pretty much any board is just, like, uh, a rank, or a Link 4 monster and, uh, whatchamacallit. A Link 4 and Leo Dancer. So, here's our Link 4. Oh, I don't have enough. Oops. Well, I can't believe I done goofed that. I'm a dummy. Yep, because this got banished. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I tried to end it quickly, and I wasn't thinking, and I ended up doing foolish things. Let's just do 2600. That's... Fine, we could just fusion summon next turn. My apologies. I get too cocky. Watch, he's gonna like end my whole career right now. He's gonna trish so hard I won't be able to survive. Or he's gonna hit me with that straight up junk OTK. With like scrap fist or whatever it's called. That would be a thing. Junk speeder. Oh, this does a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, the special summon as many Synchron Tuners as possible. I might be in danger. <laughs> um, can I have special summon from the extra deck? Except for Synchro Monsters. Okay, so Quasar, maybe? I'm thinking maybe it's the Qu Quasar? I don't know if I can beat over Quasar. If you activate a spell this turn, this card gains a thousand attack. Alright, there's Stardust. Eight plus five, eight plus three. Assault mode activate? <laughs> that would be interesting. Oh, okay. Um... Lower attack. Um, normal summon. Purple butterfly. You could just discard to give a Luna Light a thousand attack. Which is good because now it's in the graveyard, which means now I have the things to do the things of the thing. Unless it can negate it somehow. Doesn't look like he can negate it somehow. Um, there we go. And Kaleido Chick, just in case that's like a mirror force or something. I'm not wanting that mirror force. Shooting star. Target one card on the field and destroy it. Well, he can't target this. 
Oh wait, no, you can't target it with monster effects. Gotcha. All right. Um. Touche then. And I have no more Luna Lights in the graveyard. I think I could still beat him though. Yeah, that's probably more than enough. Because now that that's gone, his field can be erased. And then 35. And then Martin's over here like, I'm still doing things, I guess. I don't know if that's... I, I think that's supposed to be like the sort of like the cat paws where you like got the fist, but you're acting really fey with it. But it also kind of looks like you could be shrugging with the hands up like, I don't know what I'm doing here either. She's, she's pretty much the entire... I always... Maybe it's because of the moon or whatever. But I, whenever I hear Luna Lights, I always think of the old Sailor Moon theme song, the English one. And then this is just like, this just reinforced, this is clearly just like Sailor Moon. Like, you got, you got the entire outfit and everything just like standing in front of the moon, like, Wah! So yeah, that's why, that's where the name comes from. Either way, we beat it's Stardust Dragon. Y yay. Let's, let's go ahead in the fifth duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Fifth duel versus Spooky Cherries. Ooh. And this duel's patron sponsor is your boy Hobbsy coming on down here, Hobbsing about with his head full of eyeballs. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the name Hobbsy that just makes me makes me think of like a young little Irish lad with like his cap tipped to the side. Just like, oh, you want to mess with my shillelagh now, do you? Well, set three pass, I see. <laughs> well, this is fortunate. Let's do one of these. There's two thirds down. And what are we playing? Some kind of Paleozoic dinosaur thing? Interesting. Interesting, if true. Um, let's see here. Not the greatest hand. It's between drawing one or, like, automatically sending that back to his hand and then getting, like, a Link 2, but none of my Link 2s are really doing anything. Um. I can always summon that. Oh, its effects will be negated. Uh, let's try it anyway. Maybe we can draw into something lucky. Some disappearing hands, perhaps. Yeah, not the best opening when you open with two twin twisters. But as always, on YGO Pro, there's a tendency for these, like, set five decks to be really popular. The Pacifist, the Dark Magician, Altergeist a little bit. And I really just find that, like, twin twisters is almost a much ha must have. I don't have as many ways to deal with spell traps as I would like. All right. Um, and then Emerald Eagle. Oh, I get a special summon. Um, <laughs> let's go for this. Why not? It's a rabbit. Behind the rabbit, it is the rabbit. You can banish this from the graveyard to summon a Luna Light from your hand. Very useful in certain instances, not particularly right here. I'm going to Foolish Burial Goods. Hopefully. All right. You just want to get a monster out. If you knew I had pendulums in my hand, you would have saved that. Oh, uh, let's see here. There we go. That just discards anything. He's got no more spell traps left, so I might as well get that. And we're going to go for Kaleido Chick. And since we don't have Wolf right now, I'm just going to go ahead and send Martin to the graveyard. And get the play started. I didn't already have a Martin in the graveyard, did I? No, okay, I'm good. Um, let's see here. Actually, I could do both. Let's... Let's go for the big beatdown. Dark monsters. Spooky. 
And then we'll get Tiger, and Tiger will get Kaleido Chick back. Hey, how's it going? Kaleido Chick's just gonna send Panther Dancer, so we have it. Hopefully he doesn't play like Called by the Grave or something. There we go, and I mean... What else do we have in here? Nothing really... I mean, I could take this, I could add another one and go into, Bagu or not Baguska, Skulldread, and straight up make a, um, like, draw one, try to f dig my way to stuff. But I think I'm fine. I'm actually going to make uh, Tiger King for the search power. All the search power in the world. Unless he's got another hand trap. Son, are you messing with hand traps? Yeah, Tiger King's actually pretty great. He can negate all the monsters on the field. A good starting rank 4 if your opponent just has, like, a whole bunch of shit that you need to get rid of. Um, let's see here. Cat Dancer? Cat? Maybe? Bird? Maybe? Maybe bird? Um, baby bird? Uh, geez, there's nothing really I need. Yeah, let's just go for Blue Cat. It's another name. I have Normal Summoned already, right? Right. Oh, but I can Special Summon. Let's do that. Blue Cat's a floater. If it's destroyed by any means, you could summon any other Lunalite from your, your deck. Doing stuff and doing things and doing things all day. Fortunately, I can't do it can't double its own attack. That would be sweet. But it is a dark, so with Wee Witch's Apprentice and Fire Formation Tanky, it's up to 2200. And, I mean, I could get Bird out again and make another rank 3, or another rank 4. I think I'll just float. We'll be fine. Although, most of the times when I lose in this deck, it's because I go too easy on people. There's been a lot of times when bad things have happened. Because I was like, we'll be fine, I don't need to do all this, and then, and then, disaster. Why are we waiting? You're not, like, dead dead, you're just, you're only taking half your life points. <laughs> yep, he just timed out. I think he was feeling a little salty that uh, all of his traps and everything did not work out. But you know what? A win is a win is a win. So let's go ahead to the halfway point, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Just taking a short break from the duels to be like, you know, if you made it this far, if you're liking the show so far, uh, drop a like. Maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, if you really like the channel, consider my Patreon. I'm funded almost exclusively by Patreon. It allows me to play all the fan-favorite decks instead of, like, the decks that are the most popular and stuff like that. And there's lots of rewards. You, you could, I, won't, I won't bore you with the rewards. I've already done a lot of shout-outs this, this week. So I'll just keep this simple, you know. If you like the show, do those things. Support the show. It really helps out. Every little bit helps. Maybe share the video with people. I don't know. I'm no marketing genius. I'm just a guy who likes to build Yu-Gi-Oh decks and make cool sleeves. He's turned out really nice. Anyway, let's get right back into the duels. <laughs> All right, here we are, six duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Skilled Summoner, the most skilled summoner on the Patreon, and we're going up against the Juggernaut, bitch, or or maybe this is Juggernaut, and if it's a, it's a reference to uh, Coheed and Cambria, there's they have a song. He just surrendered. Uh, we're not gonna count that, but that surrender was brought to you by Skilled Summoner. He summoned it from the ether. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the real six duel, hopefully, against Nebula, kind of a nebulous opponent. We've got a no extra deck situation going on, which could be bad for us. He might be playing Exodia, he might be playing fucking, I don't know, a bunch of traps and shit? 
who can say for sure? Um, we got wolf, which is good, but no tiger, which is not so good. Um, let's go ahead and tanky for tiger. See if that works out. He could stop it with spell trap destruction because it's a continuous trap. Okay, we're good. Gotcha. Not really anything we want to normal summon, but we're fine. We've we've dealt with a lot of spell trap removal before. We've got Martin. She's like, I don't know why I'm doing here either. Um, purple butterfly. Ay ay ay, you're my little butterfly. You are purple in the air, and you make me want to die. And then we can banish the. Yeah, this is good. Again, you just target. You could send it from your hand to give any Luna Light a thousand. And then you can banish it from the graveyard to summon a Luna Light from your hand. So then you get two two automatically on the field. Hey, that's pretty neat. Let's go for our link and start destroying some things, shall we? He's coming out like Hanok Chuk Chuk, Adugadok Tuk. Let me see what I can blow up. Yeah, maybe we'll make Saber Dancer this time and hope he doesn't have Penguin Soldier. Oh no. Waiting. Okay. Blow up, blow up. The one isolated one. Nightmare Wheel, okay. Not the best opponent again. <laughs> Not the greatest feat. Um. Ooh, pardon me. And again, we can't make Tiger King to search because we already used a Tenki this turn. Return to the hand. Come back. Unless he's got something to... Oh, okay, no, he does not. This gains attack for every beast warrior on the field. I think it's like beast to beast warrior and other stuff. I don't know. This tornado dragon getting a lot of work in today. These two both, a lot more than in testing. Um, it doesn't really matter. There we go. And he surrendered. <laughs> Didn't even need to OT. Who needs to fusion? Fusion summoning is overrated. This is clearly a Link slash Ixie deck. <laughs> Let's go ahead into the seventh duel. <laughs> Here we are, seventh duel. We're above sea level. I would certainly hope. If we're below sea level, then I'll be getting all wet. I don't like that. Except for under certain conditions. And playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is not one of them. If you're playing in real life, the cardboard gets soggy. And if you're playing on the computer, your computer gets soggy. And then breaks and breaks. Um, and this may be a challenge that we cannot overcome. I don't know. Endymion is, uh, it's new. It's very new. I believe the, the structure deck just came out like this week or something. And look at, look at this. I believe, I believe the Duel Logs, whose channel you should totally check out for top 10 action and occasionally replays, he does, um, he did a, a video lately, or recently, that was like, top 10 longest card texts in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I believe number one was the new Endymion card, and he was like, yeah, half the structure deck could be on this list, but I just wanted to have one card represent it. So, what does this do? Uh, if this card is special summon, you can target one other card. Your opponent controls with spell counters. Return... Okay. Um, when this card with a spell counter is destroyed, you can add one Endymion. Each time a spell counter, place one on this card. Uh, each time, place special summon both this card. Okay, so none of these are quick effects. So, he's just hoping I can't OTK him. And... I might not be able to. <laughs> we will see. Um, at least I could destroy his scales if everything goes awry, which it might. But we started with Foolish Burial Goods. This will at least do a good job of getting our play started. We'll send our one trap. Everything gets a card. Let's... Purple Butterfly. Let's get this. Hey, how's it going? 
Let's get Martin in the grave. Oof. Big oof. Oof out of ten. I wanted that. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see here. We might be able to still do some stuff. Um. Actually, we could definitely do some stuff. Um. Two, four, three. Yeah, actually. Let's just send those back to your hands and get all the spell counters off of them. Lol. Get wrecked, noob. <laughs> They said I was foolish for playing White Rabbit! Who's the fool now? I'll have to remember that for when I, I, I write the script for the profile after I'm done recording, even though the profile comes out first. I'll have to remember that, like, hey, against the new Endymion, maybe consider teching in some White Rabbit, because that'll really fuck them up. Getting your spell traps returned, and or getting their spells returned, and just getting rid of all the spell counters... Brutal. All right, let's go ahead into the eighth duel. All righty, here we are, eighth duel. And this one is brought to you by the same guy who donated 50 bucks to get this episode made, Chad Father. Uh, specifically, he has a Twitch, twitch.tv slash princess Chad Father. No idea why he went with the princess. He, he just thought it was funny, I guess. I don't know. He, he, he's, a, he's an interesting guy. But uh, either way, if you're if you're interested at all in what kind of guy made me play this deck that is doing surprisingly well, uh, go go check out his Twitch. So we've got two. Anytime you get more than one of something, it's never really all that good. But we've still got some things we can do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start out with Tiger King. That'll get us a search. Kind of sucks to waste this, but. I need to get I need to get my place started. It's the only way. We're gonna get the tiger. Oh, I can't activate its effect if he's the only card on the field. That is unfortunate. Um I did not know that. I guess that's, I guess we learn new things every day. Okay, and he chose to go second, so hopefully he does. We might just get OTK'd right here. Oof, I was really hoping if I could detach, I could put something in the graveyard, summon it, link away, return with Martin, or summon Martin, return this, put it back, and then end up with like a link plus a Baguska, and at least have a chance. But I done goofed. Ooh, heroes. If he takes my graveyard away with Dark Law, I'm actually going to be in for a spot of bother. But he took half of his life points. So if I can get these two in the graveyard, and then just like this on the field, I can make Saber Dancer. And probably just attack enough to kill him. Okay, he's playing the new Vision Heroes. I've seen them. They look weird. They're like... Well, I don't know if he's actually playing Vision Heroes. Oh yeah, he's playing Vision Heroes. I was like, maybe he's just playing this one. Maybe it's just a one-card tech. Because I remember this one doesn't work exactly like the other ones. But yeah, they're all, if you take damage, you can place this from your graveyard in a spell trap zone. They're kind of like whatchamacallits in that way. Crystal Beasts, almost. And then they tribute a hero to put themselves there. Vion, wiggling around, doing Vion things. He might have the same thing that I have. The same, like, kind of win condition where he's just gonna, like, make a big link. And then synchro from the graveyard with, like, Miracle Fusion. Possibly. What does this guy do? Target a destiny hero in your graveyard, special summon it. I guess he didn't have one. Tribute one. Add Honesty Neos, okay. 
the emergency call. I might have to play Heroes again. Have I played Heroes before? I played Dark World Heroes like two years ago. Maybe I'll have to actually... Oh, I played Destiny Heroes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the people want. There is new Destiny Hero support that came out, but everything I've seen about it was just like there was that new fusion, and it like when it's destroyed, you get like three monsters out, and it didn't didn't really seem all that interesting. Maybe there's a new way to like turbo out that that one that um, what's it called? Plasma that would just like skill drain on legs effectively. Alright. Ouchy ouch. What more can he do? This ain't an OTK. Oh, it might be. It depends how many honesty Neos he has in his hand. Because you don't have to fight you don't have to fight an opponent's monster or anything. You just you just get it. You could just add twenty five onto something. Yeah, that might that might have been OTK. Oof. Yep. <laughs> Who gets OTK'd? The OTK does. A sad state of affairs. Yeah, if I just made Baguska, he probably wouldn't have been able to do anything, but I thought I could detach with Tiger King, and I could not. My apologize, my apologies for the missed play. I got, I got a little cocky. Although now that I know, you know, I know. Let's go ahead to the ninth duel. <laughs> okay, here we are, the ninth duel versus the Skull Dude, and we're going second, just as God intended for Luna Lights. We got a pretty good hand. We've got the two pieces you need is like Kaleido Chick and Wolf. And we've got one of those. And if you've got Martin and Tiger, then you could just you could do all sorts of combos. Butterfly helps too. That'll help us get our Martin onto the field. For our initial plays. We're playing Shiranui's. Hopefully. Skull Servants, maybe? He is the Skull Dude. If he's playing Baller Drock Turbo, I might be in for some trouble, because I believe a lot of our stuff is like... Okay, no, he's playing Skull Servants. Good. Yeah, a lot of our, a lot of our Ixies, or a lot of our links are like, you need dark monsters. Well, I guess that wouldn't really be affected by Zombie World. The only thing we couldn't make is Firefighting Daruma Doll. Which is kind of the thing you want to make to destroy the Zombie World. <laughs> Still, he can banish our stuff. It's non-targeting banishment, which means even, uh, Leo Dancer is, is, is afraid. Leo Dancer. I, I haven't mentioned this yet. I assume most people know it, but it can't be uh, targeted or destroyed by card effects. It's big and protection, and can attack twice, and destroys all things. That's why it's so good for OTKs. Unizombie Pass? No. Got Gozuki. Ah, we'll be back. We'll be back with whatever he builds. We'll see what, what happens. <laughs> Well, this would have been an OTK if he was going second, but he's not going second. I got six cards. I just gotta hope he doesn't take our Kaleido chick. Um, well, actually, we'll activate this. We'll just add a second Kaleido chick, just in case. He's gonna bounce? No? Hmm? Ah, okay. Uh, normal summon. I'm just realizing I could have I could have gotten like the OTK fuel if, if in, I I hadn't been worried about this. Um, we're fine though. Let's see. I've already got a lot of stuff. Let's send. Let's just send Panther Dancer. I can't make it yet, but I could still. I could maybe make it here in the future. We'll see, I don't know exactly what I can do. Now he does it. Oh, that was the one thing I needed! You jerk! Now he does it. How does he know? Alright. Um, not optimal, but we're fine. We can activate this. Let's see here. 
we're going to make this even though we can't search with Tenki, but that's fine, because now we get to actually use its other effect. Um, yeah, let's send Kaleido Chick. Negated. Asshole. <laughs> I just love that face. It's so sassy. It's got such a sassy face to it. Um, let's see here. Get this back. What do we want to send? I could send Wolf, and then next turn we could search it, or we could get- Next turn we could search Black Sheep and do things. Um, nothing else is really going to be useful in the graveyard. But then we have less chance of drawing Sheep, especially if he destroys- Well, he's got almost nothing. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put Wolf in the graveyard. Its effect is negated, but that's alright. Um, let's see. Yep, and I didn't put... Let's see, that's Kaleido Chick. That's... If only I had put, uh, whatchamacallit in here. Cerberus, Nightmare Cerberus, I might be in a better position. Alright, that's fine. I still do 23. He banishes and comes back. So he's still got 5,000, which is not good for me. But I don't think there's anything else I can do, really. Everything else is going to be weaker. I just really got to hope I could survive this. Yeah, that purple butterfly really hurt. <laughs> oh, and that... Oh, I was like, oh, for a second. When I did Kaleido Chick, I was, I was considering purple butterfly. And then I saw it was banished, and I was like, oh, I already activated that this turn. And I completely forgot that it was banished with Omega. Um, is that game, did his, did he top deck Burial from a different dimension and get 8,000 and now I'm just dead? I think I might just be dead. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, I'm dumb. I'm messing things up right at the end. Good thing no one watches any of my, any of these duels these long. People only watch for like, 20 minutes. It's always like, pathetic when people like, try to act like Yu-Gi-Oh is... I, uh, did you imagine it would end like this? Like, you're just playing Skull Servants, bro. You need to calm your tits. Don't be so cocky about playing a fucking card game. Jeez. I mean, I guess I'm a little cocky, but I'm also, like, trying to entertain on a show. So, you know. Either way, let's go ahead into the 10th duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, the tenth and final duel, brought to you by long-standing patron Austin a Smith Glover. And this time we're going up against a series of numbers, one, two, five, four, eight. Does it have any significance? Did he just hit a bunch of numbers randomly? Who can say? Oh, and we're going up against Prank Kids. <gasps> oh, pardon that burp. It's Battle of the Rogue. Rogue versus Rogue. Whose Rogue Rocket can rocket into outer space? Only time will be able to tell. He's got a lot of combos too, though. I got a pretty good hand, though. Got Pot of Desires. I got this to get Martin into the graveyard. And then whatever I draw, I can use the, uh, the trap that I send to summon Kaleido Chick. I just... ooh... Thunder Dragon, Prank Kid Thunder Dragons. That might be a little more spicy, although I don't think I actually search. Now that I'm thinking about it. Not a whole lot of searching going on. Because this draws, this draws, this sends from the deck. The trap summons from the deck. Kaleido Chick sends from the deck. 
Even if I make Thunder King, he sets it directly from the deck. And then he can negate all the monsters on the field so that I can activate that. Really, I just gotta hope he doesn't make the rip roaring roller coaster or whatever it is. If he can, if he can destroy all my spell traps, he could stop the the summon with Wolf, and then I'll be in for a spot of bother. All right, so he's got that. Neat. What else will do? A bow wow bark. Ouch. If I was playing Vision Heroes, I would be able to summon one from the graveyard right now. Or not summon one, but I would activate it in the spell trap zone or whatever. Combos and combos and combos and stuff. Hey, uh-oh, I was talking about rockets earlier, and now he has the rockets. That's no good. Never see, what's the synergy between the, the prank kids and the, the thunder dragons? There's not really any prank kids that are thunder type, are they? No. Oh yeah, Pulse is Thunder. Huh. Okay. So he's just got two Thunder... Well, no, I'm like, what is this doing that Thunder Dragons couldn't do on their own? I guess he can fusion during my turn. Another Bow Wow. He's just going back and forth, baby. What was this one? Uh, during your opponent's turn, you can trip this card. Target two Prank Kids. Add them to your hand. Just resource game management, I guess. Getting your Prank Kids back. And then during the end phase, I believe, he gets to shuffle back and draw. Yay! Extra cards! Oh, hey! Black Sheep. That's neat. Um... Emerald Bird! I'm drawing cards, just like Mama always wanted. Okay. Not gonna dodge out of removal, just instantly gonna do that. Goodbye. Hey, that's a really good and Um... In fact, that can help me bait out all the things that I want to bait out. Um... Because that'll let me just instantly special summon this. Okay. What you making? What you buying? What you selling? All right. Um, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Okay. All the chain links and chain link city. Linking up the chains like no one cares. My big thing is that hopefully he'll let me uh, Ixy summon first before he battles his butler. I could still get over this. My Lunar Light will have 3,500. All right. Yeah, we're just instantly going for this, and hopefully that's not like solemn warning or something. Yep, he's got to do that because I can negate all his thunder dragons. And then Link Summon using Prank Kids. He's only got three, though. We just make cockle doodle do. I can't use that though. Um, you can add one prank kid spell trap from your deck to your hand. You can tribute this card. Target two prank kids with different names in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. Okay. Can't activate that from his hand, I don't believe. Doing all sorts of shit. I could activate, they would just give me a hundred more attack. Okay. Foolish burial. It's good. Let's go ahead. Black sheep. Let's get Kaleido chick. The most Kaleidian chick coming around here. 
doing that dang old panther dancer. And now we're going to hope we can get Tiger. If we can get Tiger, we'll be good. Not you again. Oof. Um, hmm. Okay. Set that. Got another Martin in our hand, so... We should be good. I'm just going to make... That's dark. Um, I'm just going to go for underclock taker. Yes, underclock. That'll be banished. Goodbye, Martin. You did a good job. Hopefully I have enough. I do. Goody. Yo, what's up? Leo Dancer. Hold me closer, Leo Dancer. Get the headlights on the highway. Uh, let's see. Get that down to 100. Oh, and actually, I can attack over that already. So let's attack over this one. If this would be destroyed by battle or card effect. Okay. Now let's do ex let's do the most damage we can do. I can attack twice anyway. If he saves it. You're going to banish again? That was kind of... You, you might have... <laughs> you maybe probably wanted to let that die because it only has a hundred. And I can't quite OTK him. Ooh! Got me steamed. I'm like a steamed ham, but less intelligent. Um, why can I? Oh, I can activate it because I can still activate it. It just won't do anything. Okay. Uh, and now we hope that he can't, can't kill us. That's our one and only hope. Granted, I'm not sure what he has that can get out over this. Because I can't be destroyed, I can't be targeted. Maybe he can get... He might be able to get higher in battle than it. I know he has the ability to, like, boost his stuff up. He might be able to... If he can get, like, 8,000 and then attack into Underclock Taker. I really don't know. And I, I, I'm too nervous... To, uh, to, to chat over this. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to fast forward or skip ahead or whatever. And we'll see what happens when whatever happens, happens. Oh, wait. First, though, I should look at what I banished. I should really have done that almost immediately. Um, which one is it? F5? That's his graveyard. F2? That's my banished. Okay. Um, okay. I only banished one... One tiger. Oh, but I banished both of my wolves. So if he destroys wolf, I'm going to be... I'm not going to be able to fusion summon unless I get Lunalite fusion. And then I can only do it from the field, essentially. So that might be a problem. Oh, he's got bigger than me now. Fuck. I should have just skipped ahead. It would have been less spooky. Yep. Now we're going to have a rip-roar in good time. I got so hard, and I tried so far. But in the end, prank kids could do slightly more damage than me. 300 life points away. Ooh. If only I could have activated Tenki. I wonder if there was some... I'm sure people will tell me what I could have done. I mean, obviously, if I had, if I had literally, if I had gotten anything but this desires, if I had gotten like a purple butterfly, I could have boosted this by a thousand and then I would have, I would have been able to do it. If I had gotten my tiger, obviously, I would have had plays for days. Um, I guess my rabbit wouldn't have been useful, but that's my extra deck. Rabbit wouldn't have been useful. Another wolf would not have been useful. Although at least I would have had it for this turn. So there's that. 
but if I survive this, I can make Saber Dancer? I will survive this. Okay. No, I will. Okay, I thought he attacked with the other one. Sadness. A dark wind goes across. But you know what? We still did pretty good. At least at least the, the really hard decks didn't come out until the end. You got to see what this... Well, you know, I'll get to the end screen. We can talk about it there. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Luna Light OTK, also known as Pure Luna Lights. We went 7-3. and three. Uh, Not too bad. Probably could have done a little bit better, but I, I messed up that one time. We got a little unlucky with the, uh, the Omega getting the perfect card out of our hand. I think in matches, this actually does a lot better. Especially with the extra deck, you can bring out some more stuff. You know, some decks called by the grave going to be a lot more useful than Twin Twisters adding in that Evil Swarm Nightmare. But hopefully you enjoyed yourself regardless. You got to see a lot of cool, big, powerful attacking plays. You got to see the power and the might of what pure Lunalites can do. Uh, next episode, not exactly sure what I'm doing. I think I might be Red Dragon or maybe uh, maybe some Incantations. I don't know, I have a bunch of decks I'm working on. I'm also getting ready for the Yugi Tuber Grand Championship. So that might that, that might slow down my deck building a bit. Either way though, until then, good luck and have fun. <laughs>